Howdy folks, welcome to Cooking with Swaino. Today's episode is the um, pilot of my idea I've had for a very long time and it's called Cook and Dance. So what we're going to do is cook a dish from a certain region of the world. Today's uh, case it's going to be Picadillo from uh, Cuba. So matching in with the Cuban dish we're gonna learn how to cha-cha-cha and uh, here to help me is a very good friend of mine from the um, Cuban Dance Society his name's Julio and um, he's gonna show us what to do but first let's get your ingredients that you would have got um, prepared from um, uh, the website or the YouTube channel I'll have a list so picadillo is basically a ground meat. You can use lentils, it can be vegan. Um, you're gonna need garlic, onion, red capsicum, uh, salt, pepper, smoked paprika, oregano, cumin, bay leaves, tomatoes, sliced olives, raisins, um, some white wine and some fresh coriander. Yeah, you got that? <laughs> okay, today I'm gonna do mine with um, chicken and uh, so I've got my pan hot, I'm going to put the oil in the pan and the first thing we're going to do is fry up the chicken mince, it's just mince, so just get, um, can be beef or chicken, um, can be uh, some cooked lentils and we're going to fry up the chicken and now while this is happening we're going to go over to Julio, who's going to show us the first step of the cha-cha-cha. Thanks, Julio. Hello, friends. Thank you, Sueno. My name is Julio, and I am from the Cuban Society for Dance. I am going to show you the first step to the cha-cha-cha. And I will switch the camera angle so you can see my feet. Here we go. Ooh, can I do that at once? Hang on. Okay, so the first step we're going to do is called the rock. You need to be able to rock in the cha-cha-cha. Back, forward. Rock, rock. Rock, rock. Rock, rock. You can try going the other way. Rock, rock. Rock, rock. You need to know this, the first step of the cha-cha. Back to you, Sueno. Wow, did you get all that? The rock. <laughs> Thanks, Julio. Right, now we're going to put in our, um, we've got some chopped onions and garlic. That's going to go into the, the meat. Um, give that a bit of a mix if you wanted to, um, some salt and pepper in there you could do that too all right I'm also going to put in I didn't have a red capsicum so I'm going to put in some that uh, the, the habanero chili which is not hot at all so I'm just going to put that in okay and then we need to put in some I'm going to put in some smoked paprika about that much I'm going to put in some tomatoes you might have these in your cupboard don't forget these are stuff that is in your could be just in your cupboard or in your garden right now picadillo is um you can use it as a taco filling you can use it just you can just serve it with rice um it's a pretty handy dish to have up your sleeve isn't it so i'm going to mix that around and while I'm mixing this, oh, that's right, I need to put in a bit of cumin seed, cumin powder. Now, while that's cooking, we're going to go back to Julio. He's going to teach us the second part of the cha-cha-cha. You beauty, take it away, Julio. <laughs> okay, next we need to do the cha-cha-cha bit. So, here we go. We're going to rock first, and then we're going to cha-cha-cha. It's simple. Rock, rock, 
Cha cha cha. Let's try that again. Is it together? Rock, rock, cha cha cha. Over to you, Swaino. Hey, thanks, Julio. Wow, what a great dance. Now we're going to put in some, all the rest of it. Uh, raisins, or I've only got sultanas, so they'll do. I'll put those in. And I've got capers, bay from my tree. Chopped olives is quite a key ingredient for um, picadillo. So, look, all goes in. Who cares? <laughs> Just put it in. Um, lime, lemon juice. Which I love, I love that sort of sharp, piquant flavours. Put that in. I haven't put any salt in yet. I might just wait because I've got the olives in there. Um, and they're quite salty. You also put in a bit of brine from the, um, t the olives. So it's about two tablespoons of the brine water from the, that the olives are in, yeah? Okay, we're gonna let that Oh, and of course, one of the most essential ingredient is some white wine. So, put that in. It doesn't have to be essential. It doesn't have to go in. You can just use water if you don't want to put in wine. I'm going to put in wine. Right. Now, while I chop up this uh, coriander, I'm going to send you back to Julio. He's going to finish off this little cha-cha-cha dance and uh, we'll see how the dish looks in a couple of minutes. Okay, now we can go the other way. We've gone rock, rock, cha-cha-cha. This foot forward, rock, rock, cha-cha-cha. Rock, rock, cha-cha-cha and rock, rock, Cha cha cha. You getting this? So good. We are almost there. We are almost ready to dance a cha cha. Cha. Okay. I'm going to put in some coriander. And I didn't put in some crushed chili before, so I'm going to put that in too. Because chili flakes, you know, I like. All right. How are you going with the dancing? <laughs> this is all very experimental, folks. I'm going to have to edit it properly, so we'll see how it ends up. But, you know, maybe I'll do one episode like this occasionally. And um, the more dances I find um, around the country, you know, it might involve travelling. Or well, once this uh, coronavirus um, scare is all over, you know, I might have to travel across the world to discover new stories and dances and recipes for you. <laughs> okay. I've also got a bit of um, vegetable stock here. That one that I made the other day, I'm gonna chuck a bit of that in. And um, I don't need that much, it's quite soupy. And now we're just gonna let it simmer for 20 minutes. And then I reckon Julio's gonna be quite hungry and um, we can all eat together. Okay, let's go back to Julio, see what he's up to. You are so wonderful. I'm so ready to dance this dance with Sueno. Where is she? Has she been cooking? I'm starving. We're going to dance the cha-cha-cha. Maybe I can ask Sueno for a dance. Everyone, we've learned the dance. We've learned how to cook picadillo. Now we're going to eat together. It's wonderful. We're going to dance. Cook and dance. Yay! Well, my picadillo is finished and ready and uh, I'm going to uh, set the table and we're going to eat together but um, in the meantime let's all uh, try this uh, cha-cha-cha together shall we all right I'm gonna go dance with Julio <laughs> Julio hi let's cha-cha cha <laughs> Okay, I can put some up. So I hope.
hope you have enjoyed the first, the very first pilot of Cook and Dance with Swaino. Um, and at the end of a week, we've got a wonderful spread. We've got our pickle bilo, we did tonight. We've got our sourdough that we've made ourselves from scratch. We've got some pickled onions, candles are lit. Um, and we've learnt to dance a cha-cha-cha. That's what it's all about. Having fun and cooking, dancing at the same time. So uh, thanks guys. And cheers. And it's over and out. Julio, would you like a pickled egg? <laughs>